click search below and then type storage settings and then of course select the appropriate one from the best match results great so now you are going to see an overview of what is taking up space on your computer go ahead and click on temporary files and this is essentially what cache files are they are temporary files that your computer stores for future use but too many of a good thing is not always a good thing all right after clicking on temporary files you will now see a list of categories for temporary files to remove by default windows 11 will choose some for you ones that it thinks you most likely don't need and now take a look at this let me show you something just look at how much storage i will save by just removing those files that windows chooses by default look at that in my case nearly 150 gigabytes that's crazy now i've only had this computer for about let's see uh seven months six months and i haven't done this just look at how files have quickly piled up that's insane and remember this is just from the categories that windows by default chose if you chose additional categories on your own like the downloads folder and of course you may want to double check there to see if you have anything important you will save even more space by choosing additional categories and that's it when you're done go ahead and click on remove files and bam you are going to save up a lot of space on your pc all right the second way to clear cache on windows 11 is by clearing dns settings to do that all you have to do is right click the start button and then select windows terminal from that point go ahead and type ipconfig space slash flush dns and of course if you can memorize this go ahead and go to the video description you can copy it from there and then paste it into the windows terminal and then hit enter after that windows is going to clear the dns settings for you this will save you just a little bit of space all right a third way you can clear cache on windows 11 is by clearing cache from the microsoft store and you can do so from the windows terminal as well and of course remember it's you right click start and then you choose windows terminal all right from there you simply type wsreset.exe and then hit enter on your keyboard once you do so this strange uh, blank uh, window will appear of the microsoft store so what's happening here is that it's trying to clear the cache settings from the microsoft store once that is done that weird window will close and then the microsoft store will automatically launch and that's the signal that the cache has been cleared so as you can see guys in just three ways you've learned how to clear cache on windows 11. now of course there are many many other ways that you can clear cache so please feel free to share your favorite way of doing this below in the comments for more videos like this that are simple and straight to the point please subscribe and thanks for watching